just the outsider of the town, you know, putting together the field and knowing that it's just you and Sam. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is always an exciting day for us to announce the field to the to the world. And I mean, this year we have an awesome field coming f to the tournament for the 62nd uh, event, and you know, it's right around the corner. I, it feels like uh, you know, not too long ago we were we were putting the jacket on Nick Dunlop, and um, here we are with uh, you know a whole new um, roster of players that are you know the the best of amateur golf and um, want to moist it's in great shape and um, you know it's going to be an awesome tournament I'm just pumped to get it underway it's funny with all the rain we've been getting here in New England whatever the last few months I'm sure for a golf course like this it's probably a good thing because it's been so frigid yeah the golf course is definitely ahead of schedule I mean usually it's uh, it's around the uh, first week of, of June that the the course really starts to pop and I think we are at least a few weeks early this year um, you know so the course is phenomenal hopefully we get a stretch of we weather like this uh, in a few weeks but you know that can certainly make or break a week but uh, the course you know as of right now is in phenomenal shape for the championship with what Nick did last summer I, I think it's a good reminder that the guys who are here are not very far away from winning at the highest level are they no, in fact, you know, one of the players that'll be here already has a, you know, a PJ Tour card in his pocket. Um, you know, a number of other players that were in our field the last few years have earned some sort of status on PGA, uh, on the PGA Tour through the PGA Tour U program. So, um, you know, these guys that are in our field, I mean, a bunch of them next year will be seniors in college and will be looking for that same opportunity to, to have a place to play at the next level. But, yeah, I mean, everybody in our field is thinking about um, you know, playing golf professionally and it being their livelihood. And, you know, I mean, I'm sure only a, a handful or, or a dozen or so will, will actually, you know, go on to do amazing things in golf. But it's a, um, you know, it's an awesome field that will, you know, I mean, they're going to do amazing things. It's just a matter of, of which one. Ben, a lot of these players in the past have always talked about how they love coming here because of the community and how everybody kind of, comes all together for, for this tournament. Just what's it mean to have that community kind of backing for, for these kids coming into play? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fortunate. I You know, I stand up here and talk about the tournament, but the reality is we have a lot of folks behind the scenes that, that do so much to make the week special for the players that we invite here. And it's, uh, you know, the, the preparation starts in January. Um, we have a large committee and they all work really hard to get all the pieces right for these players and I think that's what you know has helped the reputation of the event and helps us get a great field every year because we you know we try to get all the pieces right and there's a lot of moving parts and a hundred players so um, you know it, it, it takes an army and, and we have one and a great one and, and uh, I'm really proud to be the face of it but you know there's so many people that are uh, you know, helping out to make the experience so positive for the players, you know, excluding the performance on the golf course. And it's always kind of been a tradition for Rhode Islanders to play in this tournament. And you have three this year, and, and uh, Harry Dessel, Bobby Leopold, and, and Tyler Cook. So just to have those guys involved, you know, what does that mean? You know, it's, I think the, the local exemptions are an honor for these players. I mean, it's something they've earned, right? It's, it's, um, not the usual type of field any of the locals would be in, right? It's a, it's a huge event on the global golf scale. It just happens to be in their backyard. So, you know, it feels like a home game in particular for Bobby and Tyler, but you know, the reality is this, this field is, is a lot different than anything else they see all year. Um, but they've earned their spot here and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a privilege to get an opportunity to compete at the highest level and, and that's how they look at it and you know I hope uh, they can compete as well and, and you know it's a pretty good accomplishment just to make the cut in this event um, I know for Harry the f as a first time it's something he's wanted for a long time so you know it does provide motivation for the players each summer to go on and win a, a state amateur or be player of the year because they know this exemption uh, hangs in the balance and you know it's uh, it adds a cool flair to the event too to, to have some you know local color and, and hopefully um, you know they can do well enjoy the experience and who knows maybe one day we'll get another local winner this, this obviously a senior 